Hi there. You know, I just went on an appointment this morning with a potential seller and she said, you know, I'm really thinking of using the agent to sell my house um, that I'm going to buy my house from over in Northern Virginia. He has a Maryland license. And I looked at her kind of quizzically and I thought, well, you know, don't you want to think about using a local agent? So I sat down with her and I said, well, let me tell you why you ought to use a local agent. There's many reasons. Um, number one, okay, so I've been doing this a while and I know the market. I know the market inside out. In fact, I probably know your house because I've been in it before or I've sold it two or three times in the past. So somebody from outside of the state can't know any of that. Um, I have a big, wonderful list of contractors that I deal with all the time. They're wonderful, they're honest, they're trustworthy. Mention my name, they'll run right out, they'll take care of what you need them to do, and they're very economically priced. Um, I have a house tour group that I put together, about 20 agents, and our specific purpose for that group is to go out to your house and give a critique on how we can, basically the purpose of the group is to help each other sell our own houses. We will critique your house, they will, on price, condition, the photographs, and I'll get you lots of feedback so we can help you get it sold all that much quicker. We can do open houses for you. It's very easy. I mean, you're five minutes away from me, probably. Um, you know, we can also, we have a team, and I have two buyer's agents, actually soon to be three. And so if somebody wants to see your house at any given time, we just call one of those three people because I'm gonna work for you as a seller's agent but the buyer more than likely is gonna want someone to represent them. So I've got three people standing by on call, ready to show your house when anybody wants to see it. So we're not gonna miss an appointment. Um, I also have a lot of contacts. Once we get a really good price for your house, we've gotta get it to appraise. And I have a lot of appraisal contacts too over the years. And I can help the appraisal see the value in the house and the price that we got. Once again, someone from another area is not gonna have any idea, number one, if it's priced correctly, and number two, how to work with the appraisers. Um, I also have a backlog of buyers. You know, a lot of people will look at some of my listings, that's not quite what they're looking for, and when something new is gonna come up, you know, I can call them immediately and say, hey, you gotta see this house, it's coming, it's coming. I think it's exactly what you want. Um, also, with in, as far as buyers go, um, I can't tell you, just about every day, agents in the county are asking me, Gail, this is what I need. I need a waterfront listing. It needs to have four bedrooms. It needs to have a pier. Um, I'm looking for a, a listing that has an in-law apartment in the basement with lots of windows. You know, they're calling and asking me, what do you got coming up, Gail? What do you got? What do you got? I need it, because they know that I'm gonna be uh, have a constant list of new listings coming up and we may be able to get it sold even before we put it on the market for you. Wouldn't that be nice? And also, you know, we kind of have a proven track record here, our Gail Nyman group. You know, I think last year we sold more resale homes than, than anyone else in Calvert County. So when you think about listing with someone who maybe isn't quite as familiar with your neighborhood, Think about how are you going to get the best price for your house and how is it going to be um, handled. And we pride ourselves in making things very smooth and easy for you. So, food for thought. Thanks.